You would think the fact that the future belongs to her and her gender would be enough to dispense with the need to emphasize her power. No, it must be seen, be felt, it must be clearly embedded in the psychokinesis of the passing irreverence that which steered our planet and its people for so long. Fact, our hero has decided enough is enough. In India, in Pakistan, in Afghanistan, Saudi Arabia, perhaps Dubai, they are still burning women. Girls are afraid to go to school openly in case they are confronted by religious bigots who are unable to tell the difference between written words and their God. How right she is in USA, in Europe, Asia, Africa, there is still so far to go. How many more must die before the writing on the wall is read? Cover from head to foot in temperatures hot enough to fry an egg. And they call it freedom to be lucky enough to be born. Die, I will for sure. If the mindset does not change, no one can tell me that it's a religion which forces me to cook in this heat. More like having a clearer vision of the future and wanting to delay the inevitable. Her task is to find a man, unsuspecting, living in a society where equality is taken for granted. That should not be so difficult. It does not matter how long it takes to galvanize the union. The scheme is to be impregnated. At the same time, he will be forced pay for the privilege of being chosen. It is not lightly thought of. First, she enrolls in a recognized educational establishment purposely to learn the inner contents of the laws that governs the desired subject. I must know how the laws are must pay attention to maternity because I have a plan. With social obligation, security, what are my requirements? For what can I claim? How do I go about it? What do I need to convince the establishment without they having to make particular checks which could interfere with my plans? Then she laughed. Questions could be asked of a stable mind, the hunger for power over the original aggressors, the flashback to childhood miseries, Memories of a violent father chastising her mother at will. Allayed with a heavy fist. A frown carried over from the coal mine where he works, which was about to close. 
the day's movement of the eyes and the little pot belly that tells the tale of too much beer after work. The unsatisfied life that brings anger deep within his warped mind, not knowing who to blame, but taking his frustration out on those near to him, his wife, and his children. Memories of the cry and whinings of her mother. Day and night when the bedroom door was ajar, closed or simply left open, not caring if the children could hear. Fright and frustrated young minds being molded to a world full of hate, cruelty and meanness. All I need is a sperm donor and he must also be able to pay 